All right, next up to the stage, my brother, Brian Besco. Put your hands together for Mr. Besco. We have another activation here. Awesome. My brother. All right. All right. Hello, Cosmically Awakened Ones. Um, tonight, we're going to do something even more. We're going to step up onto the universal level of everything. We're going to do something really short, simple, and easy tonight, but it is so super profound. We're going to bring in our entire light of everything that we are into the sacred space of the heart. We're going to activate the trifold golden flame that you always see Jesus and Mary walking with, and this isn't anything based on any religion. This is just what we're going to do. We're going to reactivate that golden flame heart. Then we're also going to activate the pineal. We're going to connect our left and right hemispheres, and we're going to bring in the quantum mind and connect to that. With that, we're going to bring through this field of universal peace. And then we'll have our light in its entirety and that golden flame heart and that field of universal peace that we'll be able to work with. Um, so how we got to this point, um, I'm, uh, about 10 years ago, I discovered that I was a master builder of etheric tools, have been doing this for lifetimes, and it's something that we are bringing into the physical. Um, we have our ascension chamber set up outside and we make all these tools, but really, what, how these tools are powered is everything that we create here. And that's what we're gonna do tonight, is we're gonna walk through these activations, these attunements, these clearings, and you can do everything that the tools do, because these copper things are just training wheels for ascension. We're just gonna learn how to do it through consciousness. Um, so when I started waking up, my sister Brenda was telling me about um, Thoth and the star tetrahedron, the Merkaba, and Metatron, and all this stuff. And I, you know, I was very science-minded. I was like, okay, that's, you know, that's all good. And then I ran into Drunvalo's books, and I showed it to her, and she's like, who? You know, and so it kind of blew my mind. And then the healing work that she would do with me, I mean, I can feel ribs move back into place when she does work with me, things like that. So it blew that scientific mind. And so I really started to wake up. Um, Thoth, he just walks with her. Now my sister Brenda, Brenda Schnoes, humble country gal. I mean, they raised beef and she owned bars and all that stuff, but yet one of the most phenomenal healers on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so Thoth, he just walks with her. Metatron's her right hand. And so throughout the years, we learned how to do the different Merkava activations, um, you know, starting out based on Drunvalo's works and then just talking with, with Thoth and Pals, we learned how to just do this stuff easier. Um, it used to be that we'd have to bring in somebody to assist us with the Merkaba activation, and here probably four years ago, it's the soul. The soul is the one who can bring through the activation. I mean, people have those spontaneous reactivations all the time. Um, but tonight, when we bring in all of our soul aspects into the heart, and we do any of this work, we're doing this work through everything that we are. And so, you know, you hear people talking about past life stuff and how that affects us. We're bringing all of that in. And as we bring that in, and we are activating that sacred heart of every one of our soul aspects, um, it's a life changer. I mean, this is really some leading edge of the expansion of creation. I mean, this is some really leading edge work that we're doing. Um, and it's simple and easy. And how we do this is we hold a certain space. So once, we're, once we go through this meditation, which only takes really 10 minutes to do all this stuff, we are holding such a high space that things just happen so easy. And it is our soul that is in charge of everything that is released, that's cleared, any of the activations that occur, all of that. So it's basically, you know, moving from a new paradigm of the old way of doing things and doing things from, from this perspective, from the human perspective. And as energy workers, we've always been trying and doing. And anymore, it is the connecting, the clearing, and being in the heart space and bringing all of that through. Then we don't have to do anything. We can just be. 
I mean, for several years, I was always doing all the ghost busting stuff and entity clearing, and that's the big galactic cosmic stuff. That's what we did. And about a year ago, we said, no, we're going to take a step back farther and see that everything is divine and that we're going to work with everything in a new way through unconditional love, through that heart connections and the activations. And so anymore, when we work with ghosts, waywards, entities, any of those things that seem, you know, just malicious and everything else, we treat them with unconditional love, with compassion. We activate their hearts, if their soul allows it, and everything changes. They drop agendas and walk away. So, I mean, we haven't been playing the cosmic police in a long time because as you take a step back and see that everything is divine and you're working through the heart space, it's, it's huge. Um, so what we do tonight, we'll be able to bring in everybody else within our energetic circles. So we'll get to that point, and I'll just kind of explain everything as we go through the entire meditation. Um, but we start with what we call the three by three. Um, basically, we become a column of light that's grounded, connected, and in the heart space. Once we're there, then you guys will each individually be your column of light. And then we're going to create a triangle, and I'm going to be a column of light. My sister Brenda is going to be one of the third in this triangle. And then from there, we're going to be pulling in other beings and hold uh, space on other levels and layers, from the earth layers all the way up to the cosmic, to the councils. And you're going to be a part of this. Um, so that's kind of the basics of the three by three. And so I'll just walk you through this whole meditation. So whenever you guys are ready, this is simple and easy because um, we're just going to be holding the space together because already everybody here, we're, we're connecting already to the hearts. I mean, we're, we're connected. Um, if you want to, we can do this infinite heart, which is running this infinity. I just see this infinity, that figure eight, that goes from sacred heart to sacred heart. And you can just visualize that with everybody in the room. We're connecting hearts. We're not connecting junk from the head. We're just connecting hearts. And so we create this larger space. Now as we're all here together holding this space, just picture within your physical heart, your light, your soul's fire. And you can close your eyes. You can keep them open however you wish to do this meditation. But just picture that light from within your heart. Drop that light right down into the earth, all the way to that crystal sun within the earth. And then she shines her light right back up with you. And you send that light up to source, soul, creator, God, central sun, however you see and say it, and back down. So then you are grounded, you're connected, and you're in the heart space. So you are that column of light. So as you stand as your column of light, I will stand here grounded, connected in my heart as a column of light for your second point. Your third point, my sister Brenda, will hold space as well. Now that we're going to bring in three more points of light to form a six-pointed star. These are blue columns of light. One is Thoth, one or Metatron, whichever you prefer. One is Talk, a master healer of the blues. The sixth point, either Saint Germain or Archangel Michael will step in. So now we have that six-pointed star. We're going to bring in three more points of light. One is the dragons, one is the fairies, and one is the earth elementals. They're holding space on that plane. The next plane, that higher council of light, the great white brotherhood who assists with human consciousness expansion, and that higher council that your soul sits on. Now, as we hold that space, right in the center of the space is that quantum void, that space of infinite possibilities. When you're ready, step into that space and step fully into that space and bring life with you, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. Just bring it all. And as you bring all that with you, it will flow like a liquid silver. Some of it will flow out, 
Some of it will flow back into life in a higher state. Again, it's your soul that is holding the space and chooses what is released. So now as you stand in that column of light, you're standing on a platform of geometries. These are those new geometries that are coming onto the planet. As these geometries come up through the body, through the bodies, they're just cleaning, clearing. These geometries come up to about the head and then they go up through that emotional body and they just lift that emotional body just slightly out of your field, cleaning and clearing. And those geometries are what is doing all those Merkaba activations as well. Now next, we're gonna go right back to the heart. From the heart, we're going to go to source, to your original soul spark, your original point of creation. We're gonna watch and witness as you come from that source creation and that light flows through everything that you are, everything that you've ever been, everywhere. And that comes to the human and it flows back around in a giant circle encompassing every bit of your light back to source from beginning to beginning. Now then all that light, I usually see it as like all these particles of golden dust. Each one of those particles is a piece of you, your soul experience. So breathe all that light right into the body, breathing in every little particle of you right into the heart, as well as into every cell of the body, in between every cell, bringing that right into the very DNA. Your light in its entirety. It's always been there. This just helps us remember that. So next, we're gonna activate that sacred heart. Out in front of the chest, there'll be this golden fiery hoop some will see it as a, a hoop with wings. And it's from the sternum up to the throat. And we're just gonna bring that golden fiery disc right into the heart. And as it does, it just brings in that golden fire. So you may feel the heat with that, or you may feel the cool, clear waters. You don't have to feel a thing is between you and your soul, whether that is received and activated at this moment. For most, it is. So as it activates that heart, you can bring that golden fire, again, through every cell of the body, in between every cell. Now we're gonna bring that golden fire of that trifold flaming heart, we're gonna bring that up to the pineal and just set that pineal gland right in the middle of the brain, just set that on fire and activate it. And next we're gonna witness this infinity symbol, that figure eight that is just connecting the left and right hemisphere of the brain, just infinity after infinity. And next we're gonna watch that infinity go upward and connect into that quantum mind, that higher mind. And as it connects into that quantum mind, that is where we find that field of universal peace. So this field of universal peace, we're just gonna bring that down through the body and through the bodies, again, into every cell, in between every cell, all the way to your toes. So now within the physical heart, you have that field of universal peace, you have your light in its entirety, and you have that golden flame. So when you shine your light from your heart, you're gonna bring all of that with it. Now while we're in that physical heart, we're gonna drop down into the basement of the physical heart. So we're gonna use all that light and we're gonna dissolve away that floor of the sacred heart and just drop your light, your divine awareness down into that basement of the heart. 
and you might find that it is dark and sticky down there. You might find cords, all that stuff. As you bring your divine light, your awareness to anything dark, it transforms it. So this is the space where we hold the cords and contracts that kept us into that old way of being. Not only will this clear those cords and contracts that kept us into those old ways, but also the programs and beliefs that go with them. So if you look on the edges of your heart and you see any little shields or any doorways, just pop those off. Just clear all the walls of your heart using your light. And as you do, that clears all those cords and contracts. And those are more than for just us right here in this physical being, in this now moment. This is on all levels and layers that we exist. Because as we do the work now for the past, we change everything. So also while you're in the heart and you have that golden flaming heart, now is the time to connect that sacred heart to all those who walk with you, all those who walk with those who walk with you, all those in your energetic circle, whether they're people, guides, you're just connecting that sacred heart to sacred heart. And when you do that, you're going soul to soul and that soul chooses whether to receive that activation in everything that you just did. You're just offering it and holding that space. And this is really the new paradigm of us being the anchors, not the pyramids and the geomancy and the grid systems, we are the new anchors to this new earth and we are creating from the heart space with that field of universal peace, that golden fire, and all the other beautiful things that everybody out here is creating and sharing. But we're doing it from that heart space, connected. So now then bring your awareness back to your body. If you have any aches and pains, just bring that light from your heart that contains that universal peace, that contains that golden fire and contains your light and just wrap things up. But the beautiful thing about this is this is our divine light. It's our divine awareness. So we don't wanna to try to make things look a certain way to change it, to heal it. I mean, we see people with fist sized tumors that wrap it up with their light and it's gone in two weeks. That's, the, that's what my sister Brenda does for the healing, is she teaches people how to use their light to do the work. And this is really the most powerful thing in creation right now, in the expansion of creation. We really are all masters, and this really is a big deal, everything that we're doing here. And of course, we can't do anything wrong, so we might as well have fun doing it all anyway. So. You know, that's what they always say is try to have fun. So um, as you're coming back in your body, you'll notice that we really didn't go very far, that we just brought everything in. Um, drink lots of water. I mean, we did some major, major, major work tonight. I mean, this, all this work is, um, you know, unlike Catholicism, it's, it's the, the two keys, the silver key and the gold key, and then what they got rid of was that fire key to that third gate of heaven. We just bypassed all that tonight. We just went around it, we did the balancing, we did the connecting, we did the activation. So I mean, this is huge. And, and the whole thing about this, in this whole new paradigm is that now we don't have to like go out and oh, we're gonna anchor lights and we're gonna do this clearing and all this work and help people. We can just be, because now then within our field, Everybody that we come into contact with, it is doing that work. I haven't seen ghosts and entities in a year because I have all that already going. So whatever they come into my field, they're connected to their higher soul self and they're cleared. 
I mean, this is really, really huge stuff. And so everybody that you brought in your circles tonight, they can receive that whole same thing. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. We're just setting the world on fire. So. All right, all right, all right. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of this amazing evening. Right? You guys, we have lots of, we'll be taking pictures with you guys. If you guys want to come to uh, the tables back there in the red carpet area, we also have the tables open too for you guys to come check out. Absolute pleasure being with you guys here tonight. And remember, we start again tomorrow at 10 a.m. So no partying out there. Okay, make sure you get home, get some food, get some sleep. I'll be seeing you guys on the flip side. Thank you so much for coming for the first day. Lots to look forward to. Thank you.